Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game that's older than I am, and that game is called The Inventors. The Inventors is a game from Parker Brothers way back in the 70s um, and this is a roll and move style game where each player is taking on the role of an old school inventor trying to invent some things and claim some patents so they can make a pile of cash on royalties but be careful you may have to deal with a silent partner which is really obnoxious and annoying so this is what the game is pretty straightforward it's a roll and move game you're trying to buy some inventions make those inventions a little more valuable and in the game with his most money as possible. So that's an overview. Let's go on the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of The Inventors, all set up for two players. This is actually a three or four player only game, but I'm just gonna still show you how the game works at two. It's the same, just less people, more and less stuff going on. So what you're gonna do in this game is you are trying to invent some items, so you have some A items, which are gonna be silly things like easy wake alarm, some B items, which is a light up mouse, frightener, light up cat, or C, adjustable clothespins. There's four of each. A are the most valuable, B's in the middle, C are the least valuable. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be rolling the dice. The dice are gonna be coming out of this incredible patent picker, move maker machine. So. What are you gonna do on your turn? You have three options. You can play one of these cards, so I'll go ahead and show you the cards, what they do. They're gonna let you be a silent partner, which may let you get in on someone else's pat, um, royalties when they get there, get an invention without having to land on the space for the amount of money, or advance to the next corner, and I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. So you can play a card, you can roll the dice, two dice if you're on the outside, one if you're on the inside royalty track, or you can get rid of all three of your cards to get three more cards. So this player will go first, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and roll. So you're, what, when you're going to roll, this might shake the camera, I apologize. So what you, when you're going to roll, you're going to push down this thing. It's going to roll the dice. And you're going to move that many spaces and take the action. So I'll move two. Uh, it's clockwise, so this way. Um, so I have a patent claim. I don't have anything to patent because you have to have an invention before you can patent claim. So I do nothing. All right, so now it's Green's turn. Let's see what cards they have. Um, they're actually going to go ahead and play this card and they're going to advance to the next corner and I'll explain why that's important so they're going to advance clockwise this way to this corner and now they get to take that action they can buy any B invention for 30,000 let's go ahead and buy the top one so I'll put it over here you can't see it but they have an invention and they have to pay 30,000 bucks paper money but it's not too terrible it's kind of thick and easy to maneuver so they pay their money and now they have an invention be able to do some stuff. And then you always have three Eureka cards, so you get rid of that and then draw another card. And that was Green's turn. Now it's Red's turn, and we are going to... Uh, I'll go ahead and roll again. Eh, maybe not. I will go ahead and I'll collect a B invention as well. So I'll just go ahead and take the Dimple Maker because it doesn't really matter. And that will cost me 20,000. So it's a little bit cheaper than that. So I pay 20 grand. Had the money off screen just because it doesn't matter. Then I will get another card. And that's my turn. Back to green. They're going to go ahead and roll. They will move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So now you have, a, a, when you get to a corner, you have a couple options. If you have an invention, which green does, you can either take the action of the space here, which there's nothing under the board. Whenever you pay a legal fee, it goes under the board and you land on this, you get that money. Or you can start going into the royalty track. And I think they're gonna do that just so you can kind of see how that works. So what that does is means they pass their turn effectively and they go in here. Now they're gonna start moving around the royalty track, which is cool. And I think because I can, I'm gonna become a silent partner. Now, let's show you how that works. What happens here is, I'm gonna look at this player's card. This is their invention. They have an, a non-patented invention. Well, I'll get to a patent in a little bit, but we have a non-patented invention. When I become a silent partner, I have to pay the investment fee on a no claim. 
So uh, no claims is a $15,000 investment fee. So I give that player $15,000. Now, whatever happens, all the money that they earn on this royalty track, I get half of it. So I'm effectively taking some of the money for not doing a lot of the work because I just provided some financial backing. And I, they can keep this card just so they remember that I am their silent partner and then I get a new card. I don't know how you're supposed to keep track that you're the silent partner. You might just have to remember, but we found it was easy to just pass that card and then at least you know that someone has a stake in it. And that's uh, Green's turn. Now it's back to red. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and collect a patent. So I can do this. I have a card that lets me collect a patent claim. So this is the crux of the game and this is the timer for the game. You can see in this thing, there's all those little silver tabs. Those are patents. There's 20 of them, I believe. Once those are out, the game immediately ends. So that's the timer of the game. The more stuff that gets patented, the quicker the game goes. So I'm gonna collect a patent for my um, invention to possibly make it worth more money. So the way this works is this. You're gonna take your invention card. You're supposed to put it in the bottom, but these cards are kind of beat up. So we've just been putting it on the side. And you're gonna push it in here. And then you're gonna pull it out. And you're gonna have a clip. Then you're gonna see if it's a zero, one, or a two. If it's a zero, it's like you didn't have a patent clip. If it's a one, it's gonna give you extra money. If it's two, it's gonna give you even more money. This is a zero. So I spent that time patenting it but it's not gonna give me any additional money. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little X zero in there. So that is how that works. Then you can just slide it up to get it out of the way, just so you can see it. And that was that. So I spent a patent, I got a patent, it didn't help me, but that's that. Now back to green. Now they're gonna start moving around the royalty track. When you're on the royalty track, you only get to roll one die. So they're gonna go ahead and roll it. They got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right. So when you're on the royalty track and you get to the question, uh, the dollar sign, you have a couple options. You can either jump out and you have to get rid of your invention, or you can decide to keep going on the next track, which is back here. So because they didn't get any money, they're gonna stay in. There's no harm, no foul there. They just basically wasted a turn. Now we're back to red. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll because the cards are not doing very much for me here. Um, so let's see. 10. Automatic hat tipper I can buy. So let's go ahead and buy it because these are the most expensive ones. They produce the best money. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And that cost me $40,000. So I'll pay a 50 and get a 10. All right. And that's that. Back to green. They're on the royalty track. I'm going to go ahead and move this so you can see what they're doing here. So they're going to roll. They got a five. One, two, three, four, five. So they're going to get six times. So here's how this works. So you're gonna look at this card. There's a big six. If you have a patent claim, you're gonna look at the proper table. I have a zero. If you have a none or a zero, you look at the top, a one or a two is bottom. So a six with a zero gives each play, gives $36,000, but because I'm a silent partner, we each get 18. So five, six, seven, eight, 18 for green. 18 for me and that's that that's how you collect royalties you can also sell which gives you twice the actual price and you know then you jump out of the track i might not get into that but basically what would happen is if you were on the royalty track and i sold so say you know i i was here if i sell my um invention will go away my patent clips out of the game and then i go to the closest corner the reason you might want to do that is because then you have to roll a one or a two to be able to stay on this track. If you roll a three, you come off the royalty track and your invention goes away without collecting any additional money. So that's part of the reason why you may want to do that. All right, back to red. I'm going to go ahead and roll again. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Air conditioned rocking chair. I'll buy it. I'll just keep storing up. All right, so that's uh, 30K. And I'm done, it's back to green. 10, 30. All right, so I paid for that. Back to green. And they are going to roll one, and I'll move it out of the way so you can see what they're doing. They need to get a, a one to stay on the track or they're gonna be coming out. They got a three, so what happens is they'll go one, two, three, their invention goes away. They don't get any money for it. It just comes back. 
uh, the silent partner card can go away too. And then they're going to get to take the action of this space. So they can buy hand powered or bird powered flying machine, which is a C. So they'll go ahead and buy it. So they'll pay 20,000 for this. And that is their turn. And that's how the game's gonna keep going. I think I showed you all the actions mostly. I'll explain a couple additional things. Um, a couple additional things that rules that need noted. Um, uh oh, lose one invention. Pretty easy. One of your inventions that you have has to go away. Uh oh, uh oh, legal fees right here $10,000 per invention. Um, goes under the board. Or just $10,000, sorry, under the board. Somebody lands on there, you get the space. Now, say, because this player just got the bird powered flying machine, say I landed on that. Because they own it. I then roll both dice and I would have to pay them 1,000 times that, that number. So they'd have to get $4,000 from me. If they land on it because they own it, they would get that money from the bank. So if someone else lands on it, you own it, they pay you. If you land on something you own, you get money from the bank. That's effectively the game. Like I said before, you're gonna keep going until all these patent claims are, in, are gone. And then whoever has the most money plus the actual value of the inventions with either zero, one, or two claims is the winner. And that's how you play the inventors. Let's go up to the top, see what you think about it. All right, well, that was the inventors. Um, yeah, I love games with gimmicks. You know that, you've seen Gambler, you've seen Go For Broke. I'm big on Mall Madness, the whole thing, that whole game is a gimmick. These old games where you're just rolling or being told how far to move, but they just look amazing on the table are games that I am digging a ton. I also have King Oil where you're like drilling some holes down in the board and determining the depth of the well. It's awesome. They don't make games like that anymore. There's something awesome about being able to just physically play with the board of the game. And, you know, it's part of the game. Not a lot of new games have that. And that's something that is kind of lost when you're not playing these old games. So let's talk about the inventors. Vendors is a really cool roll and move game. It's got that cool patent machine where you're sticking the card in there to determine if it's gonna be worth one, two, or zero extra amount of money. And that is, that is satisfying. Rolling the dice using the little like button, kind of like a dice tower, but not really. And it rings those bell, that bell when those dice come out is amazing. So yeah, this game's good. It says on the box though that it only plays three or four players. I don't see why you couldn't do two. Um, I did two in the run through. And it seems like it's fine. I, I don't know why it only says three or four. I think you could play two with this and it would probably be okay. may not be as fun because there's not as many people to piggyback on for the silent partner piece or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But if you want to play two, play two. So I like this game. I like all these roll and move games that are silly and have a cool gimmick in them. Yes, there's not a ton of deep strategy, but this game actually does have more strategy than it appears. You got to figure out when you want to go to the royalty track. You need to determine if you want to hold out to get another invention of the same letter because you can take all the letters of the same or all the inventions with the same letter into the royalty track and collect a pile of cash. You might want to make sure that you're jumping into some silent as some silent partners. There's more strategy and it's deeper than it seems, which is nice for a roll move game and makes it a little more enjoyable, especially when you're used to playing games like, I don't know, any of these behind me that offer a variety of decisions and all that type of stuff. So yeah, I like this game quite a bit. It's a, a quality roll and move game with just enough gimmick to keep me interested. So I'm gonna give this a BGM except the seal. This is gonna get a seven out of 10 on BGG, which is a three and a half out of five on our arbitrary rate scale that means absolutely nothing. But we have to give it the games that we enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's the inventors from Parker Brothers. I'm Jason from the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, Keep gaming.